welcome to the 78th lecture of digital electronics if you are seeing the title of this lecture this clock every now you will be wondering what is a clock okay now let me go into a little depth about the clock A clock is basically a clock. What is a clock? It is basically a recurring pulse. It is basically a recurring pulse. Okay. That is in digital circuits. In digital circuits, we will play with only values zero and one. A clock means it will toggle or it will, it will toggle between zero and one for a particular interval of time. That is, if you are drawing a clock signal, it will be like this: zero, one. After the same time, it will go to zero, one, zero, one, like that. Okay. This type of signals are known as clock signals. Now you can have inverse clock also. That means starting from one, going to zero. Like this also, you can have clock signals. Okay. So this is. Um, zero and this is one. Okay. Now, if now if you are coming uh, coming to the relation between uh, relation to sequence of circuits, if a sequence of circuit is starting at, at the instant when the clock is moving from zero to one, then such kind of sequence of circuits are known as positive edge triggered circuits. Positive edge triggered circuits. Whereas, if the sequence circuits operate in the reverse direction, that means when coming from one to zero, or if it is uh, acting as uh, acting when this inverse clock is happening, then it is known as negative edge triggered circuits. Negative edge triggered sequence circuits. Yeah. Hope you have got the difference between positive edge triggering and negative edge triggering. Okay. Now, basically, this clock pulse is generated from a function generator, and it is given a function generator is an electronic circuit which generates this uh, clock pulses. Okay. Now, one cycle is for zero and one. To complete zero and one, you get one cycle. For example, if it is in the second circuit, this this is a time period. Okay. The time period of one clock. That is a time. T is a Time period of one clock pulse. There is a time period of one clock pulse, and uh, clock frequency is given by frequency of the clock is given by one by t. Generally, in say in um, digital circuits, we are giving square pulses as or a square wave as clock. Okay, so that is a that is a basic intro to clock. So there are uh, so you, you can give in two ways. Either you can give like zero initially, then toggle to one, then back to zero, zero to one, one to zero like that. Okay. Now if the signal circuit is getting triggered, when when the when the transition happens from zero to one, then such kind of signal circuits are known as positive edge triggered circuits. Whereas if it is go going, uh, if the um, signal circuits are getting triggered, when it when the clock is going from one to zero, then such is then such circuits are known as Negative edge triggered circuits. Okay. Now, clock is the basic factor or, or basic circuit or basic signal. It is a basic signal. Basic signal that is required. That is required. Required for any sequence circuit. For any sequence circuit. For any sequence circuit to operate, any sequence circuit to operate. Okay. So I have mentioned in the earlier lecture that we are, we, we are having uh, different types of sequence circuits. The different types of sequence circuits I will explain it in the next lecture. Okay. So I think you have got an introduction to clock. So clock means it is uh, it is basically continuously recurring pulse or continuously varying pulse that is between zero and one. Okay. The time period for one clock is t, and the frequency of the clock is given by one by t. Okay, so clock means you have to you have to vary the values between zero and one in particular time intervals. Okay, so that is regarding 
clock. Now in the next lecture, we'll be dealing with um, uh, synchronous. Uh, uh, we'll be dealing with uh, two types of sequence cycles. Thank you.